Street Fighter Alpha. Ah, nice. Ah, oh, it has been so long since I played Nash. I really like this character. I know it's completely different from actual Alpha's Nash. Like, he's more just like a guile clone? <laughs> like, then, uh, very similar to Guile anyway. Look at all of the bonus costumes that I'm not going to use. Look at all the colors. There's some weird colors. I like green is nice, but I'm going to go with the green and purple. I don't like Silent Sharpness. I use Stealth Dash though. Yeah, I like Nash. I like Nash's moves in this game. I think they're really cool. Uh, maybe they're not like perfect. Like he's like there's some things he could have as well. But like I feel like he's one of those characters where they actually put a decent amount of thought in and reworked a lot of stuff so that he wasn't just Guile again this time. Round one. Uh, Fight. Which is nice. Uh, <laughs> It's been a while since I played him, hang on. There we go. Go! Oh. oh, you can can you can interrupt that that early or that late. Whoa, the whole crescent is out. And she could still ignore it. I suggest you stay down. Killed Sakura, she's dead now. You can stop making fan art of her. She's dead. And your fan art to her grave. <laughs> oh, that's so that's so dark. <laughs> well, very on very on point for Nash. You can see I've spent a lot more time playing Nash than I have with Vega, because I'm actually like, you know, just doing stuff and it's it's not it's not viable at all. But at least it's like I'm just putting stuff out there and it's like pretty like fluent, like it's just a lot of stuff happening at once maybe. It's a load of bullshit though, don't do this like competitively, this is awful. Leaving frame gaps everywhere, nothing's like a true combo, it's all unsafe. Go fight the Karens. Yeah, man, I love playing Nash. Like, it was the main reason I was interested in Street Fighter V to begin with. Was like, oh my god, they got Nash in here? That was so cool. I know play Nash. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna play him now. <clears throat> it was like the main thing dragging me in at that point basically was the only character I was interested in, holy shit. <laughs> Fight. You can see I very often do the high-low, light punch, low kick, light punch, low kick, and it's always like, like light punch, heavy, low. So you, you can tell it's me when I'm playing, because it's like this bullshit that's not viable. <laughs> see? Oh yeah, some of the uh, the reason I use like a lot of heavy lows with Nash with kicks and special kicks is because his normal kicks that are medium and high are really short range and jank and pointless where he just kind of moves his knee two centimeters off the ground and you're like, oh, is that is that supposed to hit? Like it won't hit anyone. Some of his punches are very close to him, like that swing I did to no one. Okay, okay, okay. We get it, you're angry that I'm winning. See, that kick is just like, he takes his foot off the ground and then puts it back down again. That's not really a kick. It's like, I put my knee in the air, then I put my knee back down. It's not like an aggressive knee, it's just yeah. <laughs> Look at my knee. <laughs> oh, he's so angsty. Ugh, I'm grumpy because I died. Ugh. 
I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. If all of my friends, I will threaten to kill them. It's Ken and his horrible face. Supported by Ken's horrible face. <laughs> Damn it, Ken. To be honest, what they changed with Ken uh, also made me quite interested in the original release of Street Fighter V. But like everyone else, I'm pretty pissed off that they cowered it out of making Ryu like, look older. Oh. He also has a, like a hype theme song in this where it's like all screaming guitars, so I'm really into that. Oh well, this isn't going well, is it? Let's suplex him out of the way to get some space and then we're just gonna fuck that up. Oh well, never mind. I'm not really used to this. Betray good. Yeah, I'm just low. You got swept. I don't have time for this. Round two. Point. <laughs> edge. <laughs> edge. <laughs> He's just so edge, I can't handle it. Like, okay, like I like gloomy and edgy characters, but like it's like, come on man, like Can you lighten up a little bit, kids? <laughs> I mean, you're back alive, that's gotta be something, you know? That's better than being dead, right? Is Charlie the only character that canonically dies in Street Fighter? Oh, does Rose die? God, I can't remember. Gen, does Gen... Gen is supposed to slowly die of cancer, right? A lot of them just give up. That's like what I always assume. Like when I go from like, when you go from like Street Fighter 4 and 5 and you go into like 3, I just assume a lot of them retire. Like at the end of the story mode, Vega is literally seen throwing his mask away and walking away, which just makes me assume he didn't like canonically ever die. He just stops being important to the plot and walks away, and so does Balrog and Sagat, they just go, I just, what's the point anymore? Like, because they're at a certain age and they're just like, I, I found it, like, my story has come to an end and I have no real reason to continue. But like, uh, Balrog has like, Ed. But Ed is not in three. When I say Charlie, I mean Nash, by the way, if you don't know, that's his full name. <laughs> oh, Mika. I don't like this stage, it's kind of bright, it's I'm finding it difficult to look at everything. And I don't mean like all of the weird bikini girls, it's just very sun, sun dazzling uh, waves. And... No, you haven't got me, go away. Nash is all about that Sigma grind set. <laughs> Be calm <and> thought. <laughs> oh, that's me. Meek is cool. Just, just ignoring me. Just ignoring my hits. You're just blocking everything. And I'm blocking nothing. Let's, let's go out to the ocean. Ow. You just keep backing up until you're underwater, that would be so fun for this, <laughs> this stage. She's throwing a lot of stuff out and she's doing some pretty like, she does that hit a lot where it goes one, two, three, special butt slap <laughs> in the face move. Oh, what an answer. <laughs> giant swung the fuck out from my V trigger, then butted to death. 
It's kind of funny because when you consider how edgy Nash is now, uh, he's like, I, I need to go kill Bison, I fucking kill everyone. And like, he gets knocked out by Mika's butt to the face. Oh, that throw move didn't look good. She wasn't in contact with my body for most of that throw animation. She just kind of like, her hands were touching a space just above my back. <laughs> oh, I'm losing, I'm losing. I'm losing to ass attacks. Summer Soul. I love that callback to the. Hey, we got the Summer Soul. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, the Summer Soul, and then the other way around, it's the Moon Soul. Say what you want, I'll always remember the mod where it's like Armika's Hot Ryu and the partner is Ken and the same animation plays. <laughs> oh, that's such a good meme. It's an old meme, but it's a good meme. Ken is winking and he's like, yeah! <laughs> oh, mods are amazing. Back we go. I will show no mercy to being butt stomped. Go back to Malaysia and get like... What would probably be like, to be fair, like a kind of sexual harassment case in this case. Like, think about it. Nash is trying to have a fight and he's getting smothered by Armika's ass in front of a gang of women who are like, Yeah! Smother him! Smother him with your ass! <laughs> like, think about that, like... He might be entitled to compensation. Now just call this number! <laughs> Anti-air. Gotta stop the button. <laughs> Who was that for, Mika? You just jumped directly above me and did a kick to no one. But then I did too, so it's fine. I love the idea that Nash is so much stronger than Guile that he can just do, like, instead of having to somersault, he can just, like, uh bring out the sonic blade kicks by standing and just doing a reverse roundhouse or something. They do a lot of stuff with Nash to make him, you realize, yeah, like the reason he's Guile's mentor is because he literally can control the same skills but a thousand times better, which they didn't really do for a lot of the other things he did. He's just basically the same moveset as Guile. But in this, they, like even his super is like, I can hold a sonic hurricane with my fingertips and I can one-arm Sonic Booms and just throw them out like they're nothing, whereas like he, the guy has to charge it and he has to use both arms. It's like really clever like hints towards their different power levels. Maybe I'm a nerd who gives a shit. <laughs> like he can just low kick like the same kind of power kicks without having to do the full like charge somersault he can just jump and just kick down and it has the same blade kind of around it like you know energy or a blade pretty rad but like the tragedy is so i always registered as basically that's one of his i've been resurrected by the uh, illuminati and all of his V-Trigger shit is just all like, I got this from Urian and people, it's not like, because it's got the gem in the head thing. <laughs> Glowing, and like all of that vampiric shit that he does where he just like steals energy and like, uh, is like a kind of not his normal moveset, that's like the resurrection shit. Maybe I'm making all this up, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's how it is. This is my head cannon, and I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Even if it makes no fucking sense. Further head cannon. I just always assumed that Chun Li and like Nash kind of flirted in Alpha, and that they were just kind of like, you know, like Chun Li had mad respect for like Nash, and Nash thought, oh, she's a rookie cop, she's a good person. And like, while they might not have flirted, they were like, you know, like, I see you. 
you'll chill people. It would also fit into the canon that like Chun Li then like maybe was like super inspired by him that she then stayed single. Because she was like, no, it's just about Charlie. But that's just in my head. Let's face it, it's Capcom. So it's normal for everyone to be super ace for absolutely no reason other than that Capcom doesn't like writing romance. <laughs> I love that. In interviews with the Capcom lead developers, they're like, why is everyone in Resident Evil super attractive and super sexually tense, but no one is ever canonically dating? And if they are, you never see their wife. They, they just say, like, Barry, he has a wife and kids, but you don't really ever see them in the games very prevalently. And it's the same with, like, Ken and Eliza. You only really see Eliza occasionally, like, and it's really just like, yeah, yeah, Ken gets married and has kids. More likely to see Ken's son now. And it's like, the, the reason is the Capcom devs were like, we feel super uncomfortable writing any form of romance. <clears throat> Because we're huge nerds and we feel uncomfortable with that stuff, and I'm like, oh, you know what, fair enough. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Just we're gonna back away from this because we don't want to write about it. It's like a very like it's the same reason J.R.R. Tolkien, J.R.R.R. Tolkien never wrote um, many female characters in Lord of the Rings because he was just like. I don't know very many women and don't know how to write women. <laughs> Which is like, wow, just tell everyone you're a huge nerd. <laughs> like, I'm a huge nerd and I don't even know other nerds and mostly male nerds. <laughs> oh man, I love that shit, it's so funny. Round one. It's not like, you know, you could just... Fight get a writer in to help you with that. I guess for Tolkien it would be a bit bad because he is a writer, but like Capcom man, just hire a writer if you don't know what to do. To be fair, I like their uh, fighting games are great because you can just have some really jank stupid story and it's still kind of fun to watch and I, you know, like trying to make these unique character designs make sense in correlation to each other is probably quite hard. Like. That's why Blanca's just like, my mama. Gotta find my mama. It's <laughs> also why I hate Blanca as well. I hate Blanca for many reasons, but like, uh... I suggest you stay down. He's, he does a lot of spins and ball moves, and like, I don't like his design. And I'm sorry, Blanca means. Just, he's not for me. But I don't hate him, it's just I've literally never played him. And I've been playing Street Fighter for years, and I never felt the need. And I mean, I've picked up most characters. I even played Papan for a little bit, and El Fuerte. But, yeah. Never felt the need. Never felt the need with E Honda either. Just never really dug it. Played Gonryu, didn't ever play E Honda. That's weird, isn't it? You <laughs> win! Connery is so weird though. <laughs> oh, I saw Akuma. I should have fought Akuma. Now I'm fighting Balrog for like the hundredth time. Never played Balrog either, did I? I think I played him once. Like for one match and was like, oh, okay. This isn't Dudley. <laughs> that, that was it. And it's like, that's the stupidest mindset to have, isn't it? Like, oh, a boxing character. Oh, it's not Dudley. I don't care. <laughs> I played Steve Fox in Tekken, but I've never played Power Rock. Like, what a weird mentality to have. Like, you think most people would be the other way around, right? Like, oh, I played Balrog, then I got Street Fighter 3, and then it, Dudley plays different, and I don't like Dudley. I'm the other way around. Because <clears throat> I play everything in a weird order. Balrog, you're gonna fight me. Uh, fun fact, my cat is called Balrog. 
He's not actually named after the box. So. He's not named after this Balrog. I think originally I named him after the Devil May Cry weapon and the demon in general. I just thought it would be funny. It's a cat. He does. It's not like I have to call his name and he'll answer to it. Like. But everyone's just like, why is he called Balrog? And then some people start laughing because they think it's a Lord of the Rings reference. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> not like it. That's why I named him that. Not because of even nerdier shit. <laughs> I named him after a devil arm from DMC5. Jeez. <laughs> like, because it's one of my favorite weapons in that game. Although they're all pretty solid, let's be honest. And you can't really name a cat Cerberus or King Cerberus, can you? Because that's dumb, it's a cat, like, that's a dog name. <laughs> Let's see, what's the motorbike called again? Can't really name it after the motorbike, that's weird. Maybe if I get a motorbike, I can call it that. Do you really need to name a motorbike? <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like that's gonna answer to its name either. Nah, if I had a motorbike, I'd call it Dance Macabre. That's a horrible pronunciation of that. I'm sorry, I mean dan dance macabre. I'm, I'm horrible at this. Please make the torture end. <laughs> Gonna name it after Devil May Cry references, otherwise everyone won't realize what a huge nerd I am. Round one. I love this stage, it's cool. <laughs> what was that noise Kage just made? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's like being hit with a loaf of bread by your friend by accident without you realizing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You've gone grocery shopping and your roommate has just hit you with like a beagle and you're like, Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so I guess this just makes me believe that they that Kage is just evil Ryu. I mean he looks like evil Ryu. He basically is evil Ryu and like Alpha had evil Ryu. And I keep saying the same thing over and over, so Further head cannons. Shall we do further head cannons? Because I'm moon salting and it's He's just neutral jumping all over, so we just do this because it tracks. Kind of. You win. Uh, my dumb head cannon. That's probably not legit. I am assuming Akuma is gradually transitioning into Shin Akuma over time. Uh, I missed out on fighting him again because I just mashed through and chosen Vega again. You know, I'm just assuming that, like, that's what they're going for because the kanji on his back has changed and his hair's growing out, so I'm assuming he's just gradually, like, is suggesting that, like, Akuma is gradually becoming more and more closer to Shin Akuma. As if they, they were, like, almost, like, two different people, but actually it's just, like, you know what I mean? Like, closer to Oni, but not Oni, that kind of, like, balance between Oni and Akuma, which is, like, what I assume is Shin Akuma. <laughs> Round one. <clears throat> That's how my brain works. <laughs> He's becoming closer to his, like, living his best life, is basically what I'm saying. Oh, that knee! That slight knee elevation screwed me up. Never press X or circle. Unless you're gonna do a special. <laughs> That's a terrible advice. Don't listen to me. I feel like I've fought so many Balrogs, so many Vegas, and so many M. Bisons lately because of these arcade runs. Okay, that's okay. One, two, slap, slap. Oh, oh, oh! Punch, punch. Somersault. They blocked the Somersault. Again! Just gut punch you then. 
Falcon Punch. I don't have time for this. Yeah, to be fair. No one has time for Vega. <laughs> Poor Vega. Shit. Wait, why is, why are Nash's trousers like black now? I just noticed. They're supposed to be purple. But the color scheme I chose was green and purple, and now his trousers are black. I mean, like I don't hate it, but it's like what? When did that happen? I'm gonna have to go through this footage now and see if it happened when I reselected after losing to Armika or if it's just a glitch or something. Or this stage it's muted the tone to fit with its like aesthetic. Yeah, that did nothing. Summer Soul. Missed. Missed. Blocked. No. Sir. There we go. Just, just poke the leg out. Oh. Oh. The answer. That works. Just, yeah. We win. He's approaching EX Sonic Kicks. Sonic Scythe. <laughs> I've always been able to read you, Vega. You're a huge chump, says Nash. <laughs> I will always know your mind. I forgot the, the phrase. Oh, I forgot the meme. Never mind. I don't need to rely on memes. Time to fight Cape Bison. He's got a cape now. Bow down before my Rather one. not. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. He just says no. Ooh, okay. Okay. He's doing his wheelie chairs. Engage Healy's! Psycho Healy! <laughs> yeah! Okay, you like your knee press. Okay, you just like kicking my ass. I mean, there, I guess. <laughs> it can't be Ogre. It's always Ogre. But is it truly Ogre? Seriously, the fact that his trousers change color is fucking me up so bad. I choose a different color and not realize. They look purple, but only when I'm being imbued with purple energy. <laughs> it's like they muted in tone. I think I need to see an optician. Shit. Okay, I need to, like, make distance between you, sir. Or just get punched. Oh yeah, just caught him on the edge of it. Cool. That was stupid. I deserve that. It's Ogre. You lose. Don't care. Witness my psycho power. <laughs> psycho powers like onions, don't care. <laughs> it's got many layers. <laughs> Fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> I didn't see... Is that a thing? Is like Nash just like, oh, I lost too many times, I, I don't deserve the purple pants. <laughs> I'll put them on when I feel more confident. <laughs> Round one. 
because they were in the select screen, this bluish gray color that I'm wearing as well, so that's weird, man. Am I going crazy? Okay, I see you're doing pokes and teleports. That's fun. Are you just gonna let loose? Are you just catching those with your face? <laughs> Apparently! This feels so cheap. <laughs> One more time for luck. Yeah, I can't win by that. That's that's Ryu hacks bullshit. That's every like twelve year old picking up Ryu kind of bullshit. Well, <laughs> you think the projectile? <laughs> you know, it's just yeah, it's legit sometimes, but it's not fun to watch, and it's so like, kind of lame. Especially if the AI is just watching it come towards him really slow, and it's like, I will not block. Ow. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Seriously, he has a little tiny little purple orby that he puts forwards. It's a little weird. It's in my head that Bison was just getting stronger and stronger as before the Psycho Power destroys him as well. Like, just like, that's why he has so much weird shit in this game that he never has prior. It is over. I'm not here for your verbal abuse, Bison. I'm here for your physical abuse. Oh, that sounds so weird. Oh, okay, we're, we're teleporting and we're backflipping and this stuff happening. That didn't work the first time, Bison. It's not gonna work. Oh, that will, though. That works every time. Your Healy move works. Jeez. Teleport, though. I'm used to what your weaknesses in frames are, boy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I lied. <laughs> there we go. Shit. <laughs> he knew. Or did he know? Oh, my God. Shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Get the I need to be out of this corner. Very claustrophobic. Sir. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd just done anything but that, I might have won that one. That's embarrassing. That's super embarrassing. You say that to everyone, Bison. He says the same quote to everyone. Not even special to him. <laughs> Do you want to hear another headcanon I have that I just remembered? Do you know the prophecy that Gil always talks about with his, uh, with Colleen? And they're like, oh, someone with blonde hair must defeat Bison for him to be defeated for good. And if I rise to power between then, I might be the bad guy that's defeated by the blonde haired mum. And they always assume it's Nash, because he's blonde. I always thought this was a callback to when they were gonna make Alex the uh, pro tag. And that it's like, Alex must win, a la what Raiden would say in the Mortal Kombat film. He must be, he must win. <laughs> Alex must win. He is the one who must defeat Gil, or Bison, or something, and then, of course, they announced Luke, and he's blonde, and then, like, half of the new characters, or almost all the new characters, Ed, Falk, Lucia, they're all blonde, too, so now it could be anyone, though. It's also not really clear on, it's, like, very he must win, you know? So I, I don't really know if that means 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that means who that means now, because it, you know, in both senses, like, is, is it Bison, or is it Gil, or is it, like, some other guy who's the ultimate evil um, that we haven't met yet? Or does it specifically say Bison must be defeated by someone with blonde hair? I can't remember. I have to play the story mode again, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Okay. He's just standing there menacingly. Shit. Oh. Boo. Fucking boo. <laughs> Bison the fun Nazi. What does he do tater of? Super funs. Fine, die like a lamer. You win. I'm tired now, he says. I'm grumpy and tired. But now you're dead. I still will not smile. <laughs> and then we get to see the amazing ending where you literally didn't win. Yeah, I won, but no. Charlie weak to gun and waterfall big sad. Oh, feels so cheap, doesn't it? Wah, wah. Thank you for playing.